hello friend um, this is a very spontaneous video that I felt like recording and I don't know if I will ever publish it I need to see if the wind is picking up on the microphone if my voice can even be heard but I did get this sudden inspiration and kind of like a need to clarify first and foremost to myself what it is that I am here to do um, so for some time I have been in this almost like an in-between place with my work because I have been a yoga teacher for a long time and then I've been a human design teacher and I am a coach um, and then I have various interests like I am really deeply fascinated uh, with life and by nature and by human nature um, how both our physical bodies and our kind of mind and our emotions and all of the also the subtle how that operates and I am in continuous I mean continuous quest on how it all works and wanting to understand what it is that we're here to do and what is the way for us to live our most authentic and most natural and most intelligent and most wise and most loving lives and what i mean by that is that i believe that there is a force of creation there is an intelligence some call it god and some call it whatever names it cannot be named but it's still there it's the intelligence that makes everything operate in such incredible way that we cannot even comprehend like our physical bodies and yeah i'm f deeply fascinated by that energy and wanting to understand how it is that we are in a way meant to live in harmony with all of that so how do we live as human beings of the earth while also recognizing that we are souls in human body and how do we maintain that connection to also the intangible or the you know the energy beyond the physical realm and for me this has to do with tapping into our own power this has to do with recognizing how powerful we are each of us human being as creators how we use our minds to create our lives and um, or can use our minds to create our lives but many of us we have kind of given away our personal power to these systems that have been put into place for reasons that I am not ready to talk about there are many people who talk about those systems and how corrupt and how you know kind of unnatural many of those have become I don't have words for that yet other than what I just shared um, but I am fascinated by kind of taking my mind back to myself and beginning to create a life that is deeply honoring who I am and the power that I have within deeply honoring earth and deeply honoring um, the source of it all and um, that is something that I, I really want for all of us. I want for all of us to break free from these mental prisons in a way that we have, you know, have in a way been born inside of. And I have personally done my best up until now and continue to do the work of liberating myself from, from that prison. And what it means to me in practice is that I have made myself self-employed so instead of working for someone um, I have become sovereign and independent in the way I am sourcing my money livelihood um, I have liberated from myself from from place um, so that I can I, I don't have to be reliant on places where you know we are being so easily controlled or monitored or or um you know i'm essentially talking about big cities where it is quite hard to live an independent life and what i want to say is that i have wanted to create freedom where i can move and i can live in nature as close to nature as i possibly can and as as 
I want to um, and have that kind of freedom to choose where I am and what kind of water I drink and and uh, how I spend my days and you know all of that and um, and then I have tapped into what is my purpose here why am I here and what is it that I am here to do and um, you know I, I am not here what is very clear to me is that I am not here to work just to make ends meet in a in an environment where my salary is controlled by something and you know this whole thing um, see the motorbike passing but I want to also liberate myself from from that and have more opportunities essentially I am reliant on myself and my own um, knowledge and and what I know and um, and what I create here and that is that is what I depend on and that's to me like the highest form of freedom that I can in a way imagine for myself externally and um, then there is the part of the physical body the human body I don't believe in healing other than from the inside out I believe that we have been sold this idea that um, you know there is disease outside of us and then there is the healing outside of us and I believe that this is the place where we get to take really really full responsibility for our own selves and it doesn't mean that we become so independent that we never ask for help uh, we can definitely ask for help from people who have walked the path of healing before but ultimately at the end of the day it is our own personal responsibility how we take care of our physical bodies and how we how we see this ease if we see it as something we just want to instantaneously get rid of and not think about and just get it out of the you know day to day and carry on with our lives um, or do we see it as a very important sign from our bodies and from our authentic selves saying that something about the way you're living the way you're thinking the way you're you know going about your day is not healthy and there's something that we get to change for the benefit of ourselves it's not that the illness is there ever to punish us um, but it's there to direct us to a path that is more authentic to us whatever it means individually and personally to each one of us and so these are the principles that I live by and I want to help other people also tap into them so I I really believe that there is this same intelligence that makes the plants grow and the you know stars twinkle in the night sky that same intelligence is within us and we we have the power to kind of align ourselves with nature because we are nature and so we we begin to align ourselves to live in the way that we were always intended to live and again it's not the same for everyone because I have a different kind of human vehicle and mind and this whole thing than you have so discovering your unique way will not look like mine we will all need to do the work again for ourselves and take the responsibility that no one outside of us can ever give all of all of the answers but that we need to sit with ourselves and move through the challenges and the discomfort and the you know what some people call the um the dark night of the soul or whatever whatever you want to call it the real real discomfort in order to get to the other side where the other side it's not eternal bliss and you know butterflies and and honey um but it is an authentic path an authentic path and it is something that you came here to live and probably something that you recognize in your heart and in your soul um, that there is a way of living that is authentic to you that is real to you um, and that honors all the people all the ancestors that came before you that honors all the gifts and the talents that you were born with that honors all the dreams and the passions that you have and um, yeah, and that's that's the natural way of living, I think. 
as human beings, our natural way of living is to follow our dreams and create the life that we desire. And in order to get there, we need to take our own power back. And how we take our own power back is by identifying what is not in resonance with us um, and becoming quiet and learning to listen and to, you know, go through the process of emotional healing, of physical healing, um, of eliminating some of the concepts, the beliefs in our mind that are not supporting us in the creation of our lives of, of the dream life and it's it's deep work it is really really deep work and i believe that we can be the best possible future ancestors to our children and their children and their children by healing ourselves to this very very deep extent and it is time for the kind of healing that we haven't seen before on this planet, on humanity. Um, it is time to kind of, I don't know, just come back to the nature within ourselves. And there are so many things that are trying to get our attention and our awareness away from the natural. We have all this media, we have all this technology, we have, you know, all these artificial things, chemicals, all these things that are just trying to almost like numb us from feeling what is true and resonant and alive within us. But that fire that is burning within us, it cannot be extinguished. It's something that is always there. And I believe that many people go to, for example, plant medicine, like really intense plant medicine ceremonies, and they, they go there and they come out with the same same conclusions or people who meditate a lot or, or embark on a spiritual quest they all come with these same insights it's not that someone comes back and says oh my god you know capitalism is the best way of of being on earth or greediness is the right thing everyone comes back with this same understanding that we are all connected with nature among us humans and animals and that is coded within us and that's why we call it often remembering instead of realizing because it's not a new concept it's something that lays dormant within all of us even the meanest you know filthiest person or the just the meanest person on the planet there lives that recognition of truth within them and it might be buried very deep under in immense layers of trauma but it is there it is there and it is possible to awaken that truth and that remembrance and that's what i want for us you know i want for you to remember remember the aspects of yourself that you have forgotten remember the gifts and the abilities that you have remember the wonder of this life because it's incredible and it's it's here already we don't have to wait until our next lifetime or the next moment or you know until we die to be connected with all that is we can start it right now um and we need to do it. We really need to do it in order to heal the planet, in order to heal humanity, in order to course correct. Because where we're headed right now, it's not sustainable. Where we're headed not right now is not going to work. And instead of looking for external solutions, we need to become the solution. Every single individual, as many of us as we can, need to remember the inherent nature within us. And we need to start living, we need to remember, and then we need to start living by those principles. So we need to really align ourselves with our values, with what we know that is true and right. and that is the only way to live you know and as best as we can release these layers of conditioning 
um, in whatever order, in whatever kind of order of importance that they are for us. Um, it is very, very important at this time to come back to our own true nature. So that feels like a big message, but the most important one for, for me right now. And this is the kind of work that I have been doing through yoga and through retreats and through trainings. And I want to offer this even more intimately to people who are ready to really do this work, um, who are maybe fed up with the way that they are currently operating, like they recognize, maybe you recognize that the way you're living is not working for you. Like there is something internally that is in conflict with the way that you're living and you want to align your life, your external right of life with what you know to be right and truthful internally. And um, yeah, like really to make that shift and that change. And it takes a huge amount of courage because if it was easy, everyone would have done it. Um, there are forces and powers on this planet that do not want us to do that or make those changes and without having to become victimized by them without having to make a big deal out of it or give too much energy to that fact um, just taking our own power back and doing the work of becoming sovereign you know because it is about becoming sovereign autonomous independent in your in your own energy and in your power and it doesn't mean that you wouldn't be connected with other human beings but that you truly take your authority back to yourself and um yeah this is the important work and it's it's hard because we have been told you know or educated taught trained not to do it and it has been almost like advertised a sign of intelligence um, to not take your power back and um, we need to reevaluate that concept a little bit and we need to yeah awaken we need to take our our power back because that's the only way to truly 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 serve humanity so whatever your authentic life may look like, whatever your highest service to the whole may look like, my invitation to you is to devote yourself to the process of healing and deconditioning and um, yeah, taking your power back. And if you want to connect, if you want to work with me, if you don't know how to get started, if you don't know what your next steps are, I would be more than happy. I would be honored to help you and guide you along the way. Um, so that is the work that I am here to do. Guide us back to our true nature. Guide us back to our true nature without having to regress and go back in life. We're not looking to revert. Uh, we're looking for a future that is a combination of, you know, the beautiful things that we have available, like technology, like um, internet, like all of this, this wonderful, you know, advancement that we have, and also bringing back the reverence to nature, to the planet, to the human body, um, to spirit, bringing back the ritualistic way of living that is nourishing for our souls so that we can really live in harmony on all levels the physical body our mind our emotion our heart our soul on every single level um because then we're healthy that that's how we're vibrant that's how we are our most radiant and how we're tapped into our purpose how we can manifest and create the kinds of lives that we want to live not only for ourselves but also as a gift and service to all of humanity and really live our purpose here so this is my inspiration and invitation to you and if this 
resonates, please let me know. Um, I'm sending you so much love from the beautiful Costa Rica. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. I deeply, deeply um, honor and respect that you have chosen to open yourself to this kind of work.